Cold weather can spell danger for our furry friends, even if you think their coats give them built-in protection. Our resident veterinarian, Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell, is here with some great new products to help keep our puppies warm. Good morning. Good morning. What temperature ranges are we talking about? Because last week, across the United States, yes. it got cold in places where people are really not used to it. Chilled to the bone. Mm -hmm. If you have a dog that lives outside, like hunting dogs, working dogs, right. agility dogs, yeah. when it hits freezing, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right. Right. they need need to be sheltered from the wind and the inclement. So they need a dog house, right. or they need a covered and insulated kennel, sure. or you bring them into the garage. Right. When the temperature drops down below zero, then they need to be in a climate controlled environment. They All need right. to be in a heated okay. environment. Zero is really, especially for working dogs and that kind of thing. Absolutely, like right. they right. need to be in a facility that has heat. Are there some specific kinds of dogs that people should really be aware of that are going to be affected by really cold temperatures? There are some pets that are more vulnerable and they are the very young like mm -hmm. we have a we have a nine month old puppy here. Right. The very old. Okay. Neither one of those on both sides of the spectrum are mm -hmm. able to regulate their body temperature very uh -huh. well. Right. Short haired dogs or old dogs who are losing their hair, mm -hmm. uh, present company not uh -huh. included. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then sick animals who again have problems yeah. with regulating their body temperatures. Yeah. These are the animals that you really need to be vigilant about. And but I in know in my some, case I can learn new tricks. You, Go ahead. Yes, you absolutely yeah, right. can. So, so we have some products here to show show folks to help to keep their doggies. Yeah, home. let's start down here. First of all, if you do have a dog that's outside, and mm -hmm. I, you know, here's the thing: if you're cold outside, yeah. your dog is cold outside. All right. So bring them in if you can. But if they're outside, they need a continuous source of water that will not freeze. Sure. So you need to not have a metal bowl, have a plastic bowl, mm -hmm. and they also have heated bowls, Harry, Ooh. so that the water never freezes. That's very okay. important. All right. A dog's appetite goes up in the cold because yeah. the metabolism increases. So you want to increase oh, okay. their food. Sure, sure. If you are uh, shoveling your own walk and your mm -hmm. sidewalks, yeah. and you use de-icer, yeah. they have pet-friendly de-icer that doesn't have such a high right. sodium content because mm -hmm. the pet walks on it, licks his paws, or in the winter, yeah. they get dry, cracked skin just like we do. Exactly. You see that a lot in the park with the dogs walking on the on the salt, and they're, it hurts Yeah, them. yeah. It they'll hurts bring them. it up, or they'll hold it up, and it'll yeah. get in the crack. So have a pet-friendly de-icer if you're using it. Antifreeze, a lot of people flush out their own radio radiators in the winter, yeah. and pro ethylene glycol, which is yeah. the antifreeze most of us use, is poison. It's poisonous. Yeah. can kill a dog within 24 hours. Yeah. They have a less toxic form. Well, you've got to watch out. If there's a, any sense that that stuff is leaking in your garage. Clean it all oh, up and keep Ooh. it away from the animal where they can get from. Bad news, bad news. All right, a lot of people roll their eyes when it comes to clothing That's and sweaters. Sweet. We have Wally Price here oh. coming in, and Wally's oh, wearing a, a sweater. A I put a, uh, a sweater on Wally. Wally's six months old, Dave, is Yeah, right? just about six months. This is Dave's is new adopted dog. Yes, and he's a dog. He can al already sit and down. He did that for me, which was great. But again, <laughs> if you have a young <laughs> dog, a sweater is not a bad idea. And I'm holding a small dog, okay. Jack Russell Terrier. Right. Also, a sweater is a good idea. Yeah. And I put the little booties I've on I've seen this here. more and more. As I'm walking the dog late at night, people have these little booties on their Protects dogs. Protects the paws again from the salt. Yeah. And ice can form between the toes, yeah. which right. can cause damage. And I put some uh, paw balm here, right. Right. which will, will protect them from uh, the ice and the snow. All good stuff here. Heated beds here. Yeah. yeah. Dog houses need to be up off the ground, insulation in them and away from the northern wind. Way to go. All right. All right.